There's got to be an easy way to do this. There is, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in less than five minutes. Clean up first. 10 goes into 97, how many times? Nine times. So you're gonna have a difference of what's really 70, because you have this remainder of one. Now, how many tens are in 70? Well, that's seven. Okay, we're making progress here. Yeah, yeah, making progress. Then you got a remainder of one. Okay, so 97 with a remainder of one, also known as 97.1. Hmm, almost like the decimal suspiciously moved over. 97, you divide by 10, you take that decimal there, put it right there to get 9.7. Now that we've got the long way out of the way, let's do it the fun way. 812 is equal to 800 plus 10 plus 2. It's in the name, 812, 810 and 2. Okay, so where does that lead us? I'm glad you asked. That's 80 tens plus one ten plus a good old whopping two. So when you divide 812 by 10, ooh, now it's really obvious what you gotta do. You have you bring your arrow down here so that you know where the work continues. 80, because you're dividing by 10. 80 tens, oh, you're dividing by 10. You can review. Division, dividing a number by itself. You can review decimals in the videos linked below. How many tens here? You have one, and you got a remainder of two. That you're dividing by 10, so it's really two tenths. In other words, <laughs> Hmm? This is 81 and 2 tenths. Well, 2 tenths is also known as point 0.2. Hmm. That way was fun, but it was too long. And you might need to review division or decimals. Link below. Let's look at the shortcut. If you're dividing a number by 10, that's got one zero. So you're just gonna move the decimal place over one place. It's a positive number. So you go over one place. And you get 74.7. That's the same thing as, for those who want to know, 74 and 7 tenths. 74 and 7 tenths is also known as 74.7. That's the shortcut. When you divide a positive number by 10, well, you're just gonna move the decimal over one place. Oh snap, here comes Mr. Bananas. If you need an easy chart to remember this, look at the alphabet and a number line. You can see here, D comes before M. So we're gonna go left with division because when you divide positive numbers by powers of 10, like 10, 100, 1000, your numbers get smaller. But when you multiply a positive number by powers of 10, your numbers get bigger. So you're gonna go right. D before M, go left if you're dividing. If you're multiplying, go right. Okay, the shortcut says you've got two zeros here. So I'm gonna put those zeros in green illustrate that you're going to move the decimal place over how many places two places because you got two zeros so you got one two three four move the decimal place over to the left two spaces in other words this is 12.34 and for those who like dollars and cents you'll recognize this as 12 and 34 out of 100.
Thanks, Mr. Bananas. Adios. Let's do another problem. Okay, now we gotta give you something really scary. Negative 15,700. No, let's do 974. And let's divide this turkey, gobble gobble, by 100. Don't worry about that negative sign. We're gonna bring that down here. We'll deal with him later. Now, you have two zeros here, so you're gonna move the decimal over two places. Mm-mm. That's all you're gonna do. So this is negative 15 with a nine, so that's negative 159.74. That's it. Case closed. You are done, Inspector Gadget. You divide by 100, you move the decimal over to the left by two places because there are two zeros here. That's the shortcut, and it makes life wonderful. We only overspent by three trillion dollars this year. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. I'm just gonna you move the decimal over that. three places after dividing by a thousand. Problem solved. Clean up first. You got 532 divided by 1,000. So check that out. How many zeros there? Three.